With the increasing demand for alternative fuels, liquefied gas carriers have gained significant importance in recent years. These vessels are designed to transport liquefied petroleum gas, LPG, and liquefied natural gas, LNG, each with its own unique design characteristics. In this article, we will delve into the types and design features of these specialized ships, exploring their cargo containment systems and structural arrangements. LPG comprises petroleum hydrocarbon products such as propane and butane, categorized by the oil industry for various domestic and industrial purposes. LPG can be pressurized into liquid form for transportation, subject to specific pressure and temperature conditions. The transportation of LPG requires compliance with certain conditions. Pressurization at ambient temperature, full refrigeration at its boiling point ranging from minus 30 to by to 48 degrees Celsius, semi-refrigeration to reduce temperature and pressure. Additionally, gases like ammonia, ethylene, and propylene are also transported in liquefied form in LPG carriers. Ethylene, with a lower boiling point, necessitates semi or full refrigeration. LNG derived from natural gas with impurities removed is cooled to its boiling point, nitrogen 165 degrees Celsius, at or near atmospheric pressure. Unlike LPG, LNG is cooled to low temperatures without significant pressurization. LNG carriers are designed differently due to this characteristic, transporting liquid methane. Gas carriers vary in design based on their functionality and the type of cargo they transport. The cargo containment system is a crucial aspect of their design. Integral tanks form a primary structural part of the ship and are used for transporting LPG under conditions close to atmospheric pressure, such as butane. These tanks do not require expansion or contraction of the tank structure and are thus influenced by hull loads. Independent tanks, as per the IGC code, are categorized into three types, Type A tanks, Type B tanks, and Type C tanks. Type A tanks are designed using traditional ship structural methods with a design pressure of less than 700 millibar. They are equipped with a secondary barrier to contain leakage for at least 15 days, often comprising spaces in the ship's hull. Type B tanks are designed to detect cracks before actual failure, including partial barriers such as the Kfanner Moss spherical tank. These tanks allow for leak detection and progressive failure, enhancing safety. Type C tanks are cryogenic pressure vessels designed using conventional pressure vessel codes with a design pressure above 2,000 millibar. Cylindrical and bilobe shapes are common, primarily used in LNG carriers. Non-self-supporting membrane tanks use thin membranes supported by the inner hull structure. They compensate for thermal fluctuations by transferring loads to the hull, commonly used for LNG cargo. French companies Technigaz and Gaz Transport offer advanced membrane tank systems. Advantages of membrane tanks include smaller gross tonnage, optimal space utilization, and improved visibility from the navigational bridge compared to MOS tanks. LPG carriers utilize three types of containment systems, fully pressurized tanks, semi-pressurized or semi-refrigerated tanks, and fully refrigerated tanks. Fully pressurized tanks are used for propane, butane, and anhydrous ammonia, arranged partly below the main deck level. Semi-pressurized or semi-refrigerated tanks are similar to fully pressurized tanks, but with insulation, accommodating larger volumes, and utilizing refrigeration or reliquefaction plants to maintain cargo pressure. Fully refrigerated tanks employ type a prismatic tanks with capacities ranging from 10,000 to 100,000 cubic meters. They are constructed with notched ductile steel and are longitudinally divided to reduce free surface effects. The demand for liquefied gas carriers has surged due to the growing need for alternative fuels. These specialized vessels, with ongoing research and development, the industry continues to evolve offering opportunities for designers and shipbuilders to specialize in this field.